story begins in a historic neighborhood that sits above downtown El Paso, a place with a clear view of Ciudad Juarez. This is Sunset Heights, and the streets here have secrets. I'm convinced that there was a tunnel network in Sunset Heights. It's long been rumored that several underground tunnels snake their way under these streets, connecting house to house. I don't know if they've identified tunnels that go long distances, but different houses definitely have uh, spaces underneath them that nobody's looked at for many years or that kind of go off into the darkness. So my search for these mysterious tunnels brings me here to an old apartment building called the Turtle House. Some proof of this alleged tunnel network can be found in the basement of this building. This might look like a typical entrance to a typical basement, but it's not. This is far from typical. I'm walking underneath the alley next to the Turtle House, inside an elaborate underground chamber that's illuminated by skylights. It connects to a series of rooms. Rooms that feed into several passageways. And there they are, entrances to tunnels. Tunnels that have been sealed off for decades. This is the one that would have been open until 1973, and since then it's been blocked off and we have no idea who blocked it off or why. Stephanie Uribati is with Pearl Properties, the local real estate company that owns the Turtle House. The basement was built first in 1900. There's a million urban legends about this building. Stephanie points to the elaborate brickwork, to the bizarre features of this strange basement. This is a working fireplace. And like that has an actual chimney. Absolutely, yeah, the shoot, yeah, right here. Yeah. If you look in the tunnels underneath, you'll notice that the vaulted ceilings continue in these little tiny tunnels that are, you know, very low on the floor. So if you look there, you can see that this is also a vaulted area. So that implies that there are additional rooms on the other side of that wall. So this was a huge engineering undertaking. Doug Yost is a longtime resident of Sunset Heights and something of an expert on the exceptional architecture that's scattered all over this neighborhood. No one would start to build a tunnel like this that's so labor intent and material intensive and have it go out in three directions without it connecting to something pretty significant. So why would anyone build a series of tunnels underneath Sunset Heights? For a possible explanation, we need to go back above ground. So this is the turtle sculpture that's made out of brick. On an exterior wall of the turtle house, you'll find this turtle. And the turtle identifies it as a safe haven in the Chinese culture. The significance of a Chinese symbol speaks to an era when this building was constructed. In 1882, the U.S. Congress adopted the Chinese Exclusion Act. It was the first major law to ban a specific ethnic group from immigrating into the U.S. On top of that, the thousands of Chinese workers who helped build the Transcontinental Railroad weren't allowed to return to the U.S. And according to historians, some of them ended up in Juarez. Once the Chinese who were working on the railroad left, it was very difficult for them to come back. And the Juarez to El Paso corridor was one of the easier ones. One of the reasons that people believe that the Chinese immigrant theory is a plausible theory comes down to a specific building material. We're talking about sections of railroad, sections of railroad that were actually used to support parts of this building. Here, I'll show you. This arched uh, ceiling is supported with a railroad tie, and that gives real credence to the theory that this was perhaps used by Chinese immigrants who were entering the country uh, illegally after the Chinese Exclusion Act. So it's certainly possible that this basement and the tunnels could have been used by undocumented Chinese immigrants who were smuggled in from Juarez, then stashed at houses in Sunset Heights. This is, um, you know, PhD thesis worthy. And uh, it's too interesting in a story to ignore. Others have speculated that maybe the tunnels were used by Pancho Villa to stash weapons or munitions. Villa lived in Sunset Heights at around the time of the Mexican Revolution, but none of those stories have ever been confirmed. You know, the Pancho Villa story, who knows if it's true or not. What we're pretty sure is true is the theory about the Chinese. The truth of the matter is that no one can say with certainty what these tunnels were used for. And that's exactly why Yo says that more study is needed. There are a lot of fragments of an incomplete story 
that would really come together if we could get into the tunnels and do some work. So for now, the truth behind these tunnels is buried, sealed shut under a considerable layer of mystery. There are a lot of people that know something. They might not know who to tell or they might not know anyone's interested. But somebody knows something about these.